Hello friends, this video on potentiometer part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If not, let us have a quick review on EMF and internal resistance of a cell. A cell is nothing but a battery. So when I talk of EMF, what is EMF? The full form of EMF is electromotive force. It is basically a mis misnomer. It is not a force actually. It is the potential difference between two electrodes when there is no current in the cell. That means this is how the internal structure of a cell looks like. It consists of two electrodes made up of two different metals, one of which acts as a cathode, the other one acts as anode. So electron flow happens between these two electrodes and that constitutes current. So now the potential difference which exists between these two electrodes when there is no current in the cell, that means if there is no external circuit connected, it is just an open circuit, there is no current flow through the circuit, still there is some potential difference between these two electrodes and that potential difference is known as EMF. That is why every cell, whether you connect that cell to a circuit or not, but every cell will have an EMF. That is because of the potential difference between its electrodes. It is always present inside the cell. Right? When I talk of internal resistance, even inside the cell, like how we connect resistance externally to a circuit to oppose current, similarly even inside the cell, there is a resistance. So what is the purpose of this resistance? It will oppose the excess, the flow of current inside the cell. As I said, inside the cell also there is some potential difference between the two electrons. Therefore, there will be flow of charges taking place inside the cell. So there has to be something which actually puts a check, puts a check to the flow of charges. So for that, there is an internal resistance as well. So that is why if you look at the working of a cell in detail, it is seen that a lot of heat energy is wasted inside the cell itself. That is because of this resistance, right? So now we can write that if E denotes the EMF of the cell, so we can say that E is equal to I into R. That means plus R. So small r always denotes the internal resistance of the cell and capital R is the external resistance in the circuit. Now let us suppose if this battery or this cell is connected to a circuit so and there is an external resistance capital R in the circuit and if some current flows through the circuit so what do we say we say that EMF is equal to I into small r plus capital R. So this internal resistance varies from cell to cell. It is not constant for all cells. Depending on each cell, it will have a different value. It is negligible when E is very, very greater than IR. That means if this EMF is very, very greater than IR, so in that case, we can, at many times, we actually neglect the internal resistance if the EMF of the cell is very high. So we can neglect the internal resistance. Let us now also look at the difference between EMF and terminal potential difference. This also I have discussed before, but still just to give a quick review. So as I mentioned just now, e whenever we talk of the term EMF, it is always related to the open circuit. That means when there is no current drawn from the cell. So in open circuit, we talk about put EMF. That is the potential difference between the two electrodes. Right? When I talk of a closed circuit, closed circuit means a current is flowing through the circuit. So the cell is connected in a circuit and the and a current is flowing through the circuit. So that potential difference between the two ends is known as the terminal potential difference of a cell. So when I talk of an open circuit, so in an open circuit, we talk about the EMF E. Whereas in case of a closed circuit, there is a current I flowing through the circuit. Right? So here in a, in a closed circuit, there is some, let us suppose that there is some external resistance R which is connected to the circuit. So we can say E is equal to I capital R plus small r. That is, this is the EMF of the cell. So this will be equal to the current flowing externally plus the current flowing internally. So that will be equal to IR plus IR. What is this IR? 
this is nothing but this capital I that is the current flowing through the external resistance that means the current flowing through the external circuit so whenever a current flows through a circuit that means there is a potential difference existing across that circuit so here also since the current flows through this external circuit that means there is a potential difference existing in that external circuit so this potential difference is known as the pot this is the potential difference across the terminals of the cell so you understand the difference right when i talk of emf it is the potential difference between electrodes of the cell it is something which is internal to the cell when i talk of terminal potential difference it is the potential difference between the terminals of the cell that means the two terminals through which the end points of the cell through which it is connected to the external circuit so this is the terminal potential difference therefore we can say that terminal potential difference we will we denote by v and emf we denote by e so this is the relationship between terminal potential difference and emf so looking at this we can say that terminal potential difference is always less than this now how much less it is less than the emf that depends on the value of the internal resistance so terminal potential difference of a cell is less than emf of the cell but there is an exception to that charging of a cell during the charging of the cell terminal potential difference is greater than emf to know about it in detail you can refer uh, the videos on um, current electricity right okay so i think with this you got a review of emf internal resistance and terminal potential difference Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.